Cards by Kate Pletcher. This is the fourth week of my Christmas mini series using Nativity by Craft Consortium and House Couple Ditch. Each week I've been using the collection to make something different and sharing with you how I do that. So this week I've decided to make a pocket letter. So I'm going to be using this clear plastic trading card insert that I bought off of eBay. It was really inexpensive to buy. Um, I am fairly new to pocket letters. I had sort of heard of them before this year, but I've only got into making them this year. Um, so for anyone who's new to pocket letters and doesn't know what they are, I will go through all the measurements with you. And for those of you that have made a pocket letter before, maybe this will just be a different bit of inspiration for you. So I've picked out from the 12 by 12 a sheet that I want to use and it's this sheet here now I really like this because it's almost like you've got a ready-made masterboard ready to go and I think once this is once this is cut into the nine different sections it's going to look really really effective so I think I'm going to use this side as the front of my pocket letter obviously you'll be able to see both sides because it's going in the clear um, trading card insert holder thing so I need to cut nine different pieces that measure two and a half by three and a half um, I am working in inches so if you want that in centimetres, you'd have to um, just go on Google and translate it kind of thing. So I'm going two and a half. And then that's got to be by three and a half. So I hope everybody is well and safe and crafting. It's not the easiest of times at the moment, but we have crafting, which will get a lot of us through this. So we are very, very lucky because I think crafting takes your mind off of things. Okay, so that's the first three I'm going to mix and match these up once I've cut the right amount as well okay so the next one's two and a half by three and a half so the lady that invented pocket letters is called Jeanette uh, Jeanette used to do work for Craft Stash. She used to do their Facebook Lives until earlier this year when she went to work somewhere else. But Jeanette actually is still doing lives. She does them on her YouTube channel. She does them every Saturday at 5 in the evening. Um, and until recently... She has been doing them on a Wednesday as well. At... Oh no, wait, hold on. Half past four on a Saturday, five on a Wednesday. Sorry. Um, but the last couple of weeks we haven't had a live on the Wednesday. So she's been doing a video instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I need to do the last three. Um, but everyone is more than welcome to come over onto the live. It's a really friendly group of people in the chat of the um, of the live. It's a really nice way to spend an hour on a Saturday. Um, Jeanette will be crafting, doing various different things. She always changes it every week. So, like, sometimes she'll make an album. Sometimes she'll do pocket letter stuff. Sometimes she'll do um, stash building. There's just always something different going on. And then there's loads of us in chat just 
um, well, chatting, singing, I mean, you name it, we do it. It's good fun. Um, but you're all more than welcome, so all you need to do is search out on YouTube Jeanette Lane and you'll be able to come and join us for some fun. Okay, so now I've cut all of my inserts out. I can start putting them in here and then I'll pull them out one by one and decorate them. Um, I've already fussy cut some of the um, pages from the from the paper collection. I've used the 6x6 and the 12x12 to fussy cut. Um, I've also got some other bits just from my stash standing by ready um, in case I want to um, add some other bits and pieces as I go. Okay, so that is basically the beginnings of my pocket letter. So these are the bits that I have fussy cut and got ready and I've got my glue here as well. Now I like to um, do something down the edges of a pocket letter. So I have this red pom-pom trim that I was sent. I think it was Bex that maybe sent me this. Um, but I thought that might look kind of nice down the side of the pocket letter. So I need to work out how I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to try my neatest glue, but I may end up having to get my glue gun out because I don't know that Anita's glue will hold that. But we'll try that a little bit later on. So now all I need to do is arrange these pieces and glue them down where I want them. So I'm going to put the video on high speed while I do that and I'll come back when I'm done.
gone out to do the pom pom trim but that's on and I've added a little red bow so now all I need to do is decide where exactly I want all of these to go and then um, I'm pretty much done so I'm trying to tell a story with the pocket letter um, I actually quite like that layout. The reason I wanted to tell a story with the um, pocket letter was because at the end of the day is the Nativity Collection, which is obviously telling a story um, about the birth of Jesus. So I thought it would be a nice idea to kind of follow along so I'm going to put all of these in place and then I'll be back so that is my finished pocket letter it's quite basic but I'm fairly happy with it I think it's really really cute I think it tells a story um I think it shows off the collection nicely and there's plenty of room in the back to fill up with goodies and then I can send this out to somebody. I might tweak it a little bit before I send it out. I might add some more bits to the sides of the pockets or something. But for now, that's done. So I hope that's just given you another different idea of how to use the collection. Next week is going to be the last one in the series. And I'm going to try and go out with a bit of a bang. Um, I've got this idea in my head. I've never made anything like what I'm going to try and make for next week so I'm not really sure how it's going to go um, it could be brilliant or it could be an utter disaster we will see um, but I hope you've enjoyed the series I hope you're going to give some of these a go um, pocket letters as I say are a great way to send a little note to a friend fill it with some goodies for them to use it's just different and I really like them and I want to get better at the layouts next year um, but I think this one's kind of cute so fairly happy so thank you very much for watching today I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back soon with more videos take care and I'll see you soon bye for now